So it turns out once I got under that blazer, uh, at first I could only see this little one, and then uh, kind of find out I was looking online. There's another one hidden under there, further back, and uh, it kind of looks like that that one that would have been on the 2000 that would have been like 700 bucks so it kind of teases you but turns out this one's worth 200 and that one's 100 so not too bad and uh going to meet up with the guy Bangor today get some cash Saturday need a little cash also this uh, trim piece I've had for a long time a good friend of mine uh, gave it to me way back and I've been saving it never really wanted to sell it I just thought it was kind of cool I was never really going to use it but it's a nice wall piece you know but times get tough <clears throat> need cash so put it online and uh, put it on there for a hundred bucks guy wants it and turns out he also wants to meet up in Bangor like everyone else so I've I've hustled to uh, work out an hour difference this guy can meet up at one o'clock today and then this guy can meet up at 2. So I'm <clears throat> going to make the ride in. And uh going to meet at Harbor Freight. Get a couple things I need there. And uh, hustle a little bit of cash for the day. So I'm going to load this up and get going. Decided to uh, take the old blue truck for the cruise today. The old high mileage hauler. She's not showing her mileage today. Some some days she doesn't. She's a little a little ashamed of it, but you know, it's the way she goes. Yeah, yeah. The uh, the old Red Dragon 99 GMC. It's got a. I think it needs a solenoid in the tranny. Sometimes, uh, random times, she doesn't want to go into overdrive. So, it's kind of why I didn't want to bring that today. I don't want to run into an issue. We've got about a little over an hour ride down the freeway here. We get to Bangor. And, uh, so, the old farm truck, uh, you know, besides the uh, gas consumption, and, uh, you know, it's not the best highway cruiser. Uh, plus, some, you know, it's always something with them, you know. The, the, uh, the rear end's making a little funny noise sometimes. It comes and goes. So, again, I didn't want to get caught spending all my profits on uh, getting a tow back or having to, uh, you know, get a ride back, get the trailer, come all the way back for it. So just cruising, you know, plus we got the cruise control on. Uh, try to hustle and make a couple of bucks, you know. Yeah. You know, I'll admit it, these newer trucks, uh, you know, I say newer, this thing's an old one, but it's, this is a new truck to me. Um, they are comfortable, you know. 
with that extended cab. And, you know, you can lean the seat back. You don't get those uh, those comforts in the old trucks. Uh, you know, you, they're made for work. You got to sit up straight, and uh, <coughs> you know, obviously the uh, the heat and stuff is a little better than this. And, all around, you know, smoother ride. The seats, especially, uh, a lot more comfortable for me. I had some issues with my back. Uh, I've had an issue with my back for many years. Uh, I had a major incident uh, years ago. The place I worked. Uh, yeah, I was pushing a car out of the snowbank. Another guy was in it. There's a car backed up to the to the back of that, you know, that I was pushing, and uh, gave it the final push. You know, we got the you know how people are always falling down after they push a car out. You know, um, well, I fell down and I I fell backwards kind of and uh, landed my lower back right on the bumper. It's a steel bumper of the car that was. Uh, parked behind it, so, yeah, uh, the doctor said at that point that, you know, that would come back to haunt me, uh, years later, so here we are, uh, I have thrown my back out a few times since then, you know, lifting things I shouldn't have, but as you guys know, you know, scrapping, and you gotta do what you gotta do to make the money. I'd be out there at 2 in the morning sometimes trying to get a boiler in the back of the truck by myself. So, uh, lifted transmissions and engine blocks and stuff. Um, you know, there was always that old timer that, you know, always said, you'll pay for that one day. So, here we are. Um, the, uh, the move... Uh, that I made to Maine now last year uh, really did me in having to do everything myself you know uh, you don't always get the help that you give you know back in return it's the way life goes and uh, I didn't get any help so I had to do it all myself well of course my wife you know and daughter uh, helped out you know what they could but uh, so it was a lot of work to get everything up here. Uh, that's what did me in pretty good. And I was trying to get a uh, an X-ray or an MRI, you know, uh, for a long time. And uh, finally got a doctor up here. And they did an X-ray, but you can't tell much on a on a back from an X-ray. You got to get an MRI to really know what's going on. Sure enough, uh, the nurse called me and was like, uh, how you feeling? And I said, you know, same pain every day. You know, it's just how much pain. And uh, she said, yeah, you should be in pain. She said, your back's a mess. The, the MRI showed um, a lot of stuff. So I went in, talked to the doctor, and saw the uh, imaging and stuff on the screen and uh, got a couple of herniated discs in my back that, you know, so you got a, you know, you got a series of discs down your back, kind of line up with the spine, whatever, and uh, I got a couple towards the bottom that are, uh, like, popped out past the other ones, and uh, they're as they said, they're protruding out to, uh, they're actually pressing up against uh, the nerves that go down my spine, and uh, that's what's causing the pain, and uh, sometimes, you know, it gets so bad to a point that, uh, you know, I can't really even move, uh, I can't do anything, I gotta watch out, you know, what I do, obviously, uh, where I go, but, you know, sometimes I'll end up in the middle of the grocery store and um, I'll just have a, you know, a 
a spasm, I guess, um, but I'll be in so much pain that it'll, it, it's like I can't even move, I'll get kind of stuck, and, um, so, <clears throat> I, uh, I fell three times, uh, this winter so far on the ice because I, the way I walk, it's, uh, I kind of walk, you know, you walk funny because, um, you know, you, you favor, it's, it's kind of like, um, uh, one, one side of my lower back that usually is the worst, and, um, so, I fell one time, separated my shoulder pretty good, but they said there's nothing much they can do for that. No, I don't really uh, talk much about, you know, personal stuff, and some people don't put a lot of that stuff on YouTube, but I've been on here for uh, close to 11 years making videos, and a lot of you guys have been with me ever since then, so, you know, it's kind of, uh, I guess, you might want to hear about uh, you know, what's going on after all this time, but, uh, what are you going to do, I don't know, uh, it definitely hurts me financially, and, you know, it sucks just, you know, not being able to, uh, do a lot of stuff every day, and, uh, lift and move around the things you want to, but, uh, you can't just lay down and die either, so, you know, I'm not just going to lay down on the couch all day, do nothing, you know, the problem is, some days you feel good, and you want to do something, you get out there, and then you pay for it for three days, and, uh, don't like taking painkillers, really, or anything like that, so, um, uh, that doesn't really help either, but, I'm not really sure what the next step is, but we'll see see what the doctor says next. Video.
Catman meets up with the Catman. Catman do. Come on with me. Well, we're a hundred down on the winnings. But this is going to be key to my next plan. So that I can maneuver the Suburban uh, to one side in the garage and I gotta get that uh, the Red Dragon inside and see what's going on with that transmission and um, also get a couple other things off of there and make a couple more bucks if you know what I mean. <clears throat> so, we got about 20 minutes to kill. We'll wait for, uh, wait for the guy to get here for that tailgate trim. And hopefully it goes uh, as smooth as the cats and I just get my hundred and uh, be all set. Well, guy talked me down to 80 bucks on that trim. Apparently it was missing a little tiny piece on the, goes around the handle, but, uh, you know, he had his with him and... It was a GMC, that's why he uh, wanted to, uh, you know, get the correct one for his truck. And I explained to him that piece just pops out and into this, but he wants to resell the GMC one, uh, re you know, get some of his money back. So, anyway, talk me down to 80, I took it, whatever. So, that's what I'm left with for the day. After buying the dollies and stuff, about 260. I got some uh, sawzall blades and uh, some zip ties. You know, you can't leave Harbor Freight without getting that stuff. But uh, I had to get this piece of trim from uh, Lowe's. Finish up a little trim work in the bathroom, but. Uh, that was only a couple dollars, so this was right next to uh, Harbor Freight where I was, so not too bad. And uh, yeah,
you boys. 